think advocacy at national policy level has been a real key part of making significant strategic change in the UK. So CAS's core activity is essentially supporting and providing for teachers at schools. That's kind of that's a fundamental activity for CAS. So to support computing and ICT teachers in schools in the UK. But I think that's kind of you're not going to kind of change anything from that perspective. So you need to make sure there's um, whenever there are relevant policy uh, possibilities or opportunities to influence and contribute to policy. I think CAS has done very well over the past year or so um, of making really significant contributions to uh, computing or, or wider science education policy in the UK. It's an important thing to be taught in schools. It's an important skill for anyone to have, like developing computational thinking or being exposed to computing at a certain time in your education, because you don't have to be a computer scientist or a scientist to value study computing. That's one of the key things, to change the perception of the discipline, to say, this is a good subject to study for anyone, because it develops crucial skills that are applicable to business, to finance, to any, any sort of, uh, any, any domain, so. Um, there has been a positive change in um, the way it's taught in some schools, but again it's quite ad hoc and school specific because you're relying on generally maybe a younger or an innovative teacher who's decided to, to push this forward as an agenda. So that's why this kind of strategic overview is, is increasingly important because we need to build networks, regional and national networks, to make sure this effort is more coordinated. I think that's, that's an interesting question that we're sort of looking at over the next uh, sort of six months to a year because we've probably been insular in some respects, which isn't a bad thing because we've, we've had to focus on the UK question, but I think there are some really good examples of best practice from, for example, the United States and places in Europe and maybe and probably Asia in, in some respects um, to kind of how computing is taught. So not necessarily um, a core part of the curriculum because it's not the core part of the curriculum in many countries, but its perception as a rigorous academic discipline. It's actually it's not looked down upon as a as a as not as good as a science or a mathematics. And that's I think that's a big problem is just improving this perception and looking at how other countries have have solved this perception problem of computing or computer science as a as a cognate area. I mean the economic imperatives of why computing education is really important is not just a UK specific imperative. You know, as we're moving to this kind of information skills economy, it's the stated aim of the UK government is um, we will be innovate, will be a nation that will be innovating and creating with technology. Well, that cannot happen with the current skills we're developing at school. We are genuinely creating a generation of technology consumers who are not, who will not be able to, in 10, 15 years' time, be developing, you know, intellectual property or innovating with technology because they just have not, they do not have the skills. But now we need to focus on. The how it interacts with the rest of the educational system and how it interacts with kind of um, the other subjects that more established subjects. So I think um, the next year, next year or two is certainly the importance of the advocacy at national policy level. There's a very key report coming out in January, which is from the Royal Society, of uh, an 18, 18 month kind of longitudinal study of computing in school, and I think that's going to be really interesting and should have significant impact. And I think. It feels like the wind, the, sort of the tide is turning a little bit. You can see there's um, political will for this to change. And I think that's now we've, we need to continue that momentum. The, the feeling in the CAS members is you feel there's something important happening and it's generally kind of, we're, we're making headway now and it feels like the next year is going to be really important.